Hello everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I want to show you how you can make your own back to school identification stickers with your Cricut. And for that, I even made an SVG file for you, a template that you can use to make your own labels, your own stickers. So in this video, I'll show you how to use the template to make and modify the stickers and to add colorful patterns and of course some text on them. So first of all, what you'll need to do is to upload the file that you previously saved from Nelly Designs library. So once you go and upload the image, you find it where you saved it from my library. And once you have it, it will appear right here into upload and you click on it and you insert the image. So this template is made with a lot of different size and a lot of different uh, models. So you'll see right here, they're all grouped. First thing you need to do when you upload one of my files is ungroup them and you will be left with groups. Each line is a group. So if I close them all, you'll see that these are the group that you have. So I suggest you choose the one you like the most and then you get rid of the other ones or just click on the eye to close it because you're going to end up with a lot of layers and you're going to need to figure out which ones are good and which ones are not. So what I will do is I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to keep also, let's see, if you're wondering what's the difference between this one and this one, it's not just the color, it's the rounded corners. This one is very more rounded and this one is a little bit more square same thing the blue and the yellow they are always uh, rounded and less rounded so that was my insight so i'm gonna keep this one and yeah i'm gonna keep this one too so let me get rid of the other ones because like i said it's gonna get very very busy on my screen so now i am left with only Oh, I'm missing one right here. Haha, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> okay, so now I'm left with those two groups, the blue one and the yellow one. And I would like to first, of course, add a name on it. So the yellow one is really simple. It's only the shapes. You have nothing else. And the blue one has the little dash line. Now you see this dash line as black, but it's not really black. Let me zoom in closely you won't see it because it's too thin but if I select it you see I'm selected right now and the color is white um, that means that if I flatten it to the labels it will print as a white color so first let's write a name so I'm gonna write my son's name and just the letter for the family name and you can either keep this font or you can change it. I did change it and for that I used the Cricut font and I filtered it with my font meaning that I will have access to all the free fonts because I'm not a member of Cricut Access and the one I choose is Dom Casual Standard. So this is the one I'm choosing. Let me bring it here. And I will scale it so it fits in there. Now, if you want to have a better view of what it's going to be like when it's printing, you can come here and instead of no fill, you will go to print. It becomes a bit smaller, less thick. That's because that's what it's going to look like when it's going to print. So let me duplicate it and I'll try to fit it in this one too. Yeah, so the best thing to do, you see now I'm moving everything over. So the best thing I think to do right away is to ungroup this one. So since I'm ungrouped, it came to the top and I want to bring the text back to the top. So I go to right click and send to front. Again, this one to right click, send to front. So my text is right here at the top. It's back in front. Okay, so these ones are okay. I'm not gonna make these ones right away. I wanna show you 
what you can do with a pattern. If I select the label, if I select the sticker, I'm gonna go here and again, instead of no fill, I will go to print because I want the sticker to be print. Now, if I go ahead and print it like that, it's gonna print it yellow because that's the color that is selected. But instead of a color, I could select another color or I could go and choose a pattern. So now you're gonna be in this menu and it's gonna show you a lot of patterns that are already in Cricut Design Space. So you can choose whichever you want. Let me just find one that I like. If you have trouble finding them, you can also filter by color. So that's really useful if you're looking for something blue, you can filter them like that so it's a bit faster. But I wish they would be bigger a bit because they are pretty small. So I've selected this one and what I see right now is not very nice. So you're gonna need to edit the pattern probably because it is way too small. And now you see, you see everything that it's very, very, very small. So what I suggest you do and what I did, it scaled it to the maximum that I could, which is 400 and then close this menu. So that looks way better than it did <laughs> before. So we have one done and I could do all of them. Same thing, I could choose another pattern. You'll see you have, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. But what I wanna show you are these one with the dash line. You have also one with a dot line. It will be the same thing. They are made of two layers. So let's say that I take um, this text, I duplicate it and I will be putting it right here. I need to scale it down a bit and what we're going to do is um, I won't change the, the background of this one. You could, although I want to mention, you don't need to have the letters black. You can also change the color of the letters. So I could totally make the letters white or I could make it yellow. You could do whatever you want. Not that color, obviously, because you won't see it. <laughs> so. Once you have chosen everything, you'll need to flatten in order to print and cut. This is where it gets a bit complicated, but not that much. So what you need to do is select the sticker and the name. For these ones, there are only two layers you need to select. The name and the sticker itself. So you see I have this one selected and this one selected. And I will be flatten. And once it's flattened, it, kinds, it comes in one single layer and it's written cut and print. I would say print and cut, but well, <laughs> you understand what I mean. So um, same thing for this one, but this one will be made of three layers. I like to select like that a lot. It's using the left button of the mouse and holding it down to select it. And now what happens is that they are grouped. Remember, we didn't ungroup this one. So I will need to ungroup it before because I cannot select just both, just these ones. If I try to flatten, they will all be flattened together because they are in one group. So let me ungroup this one before I select a group and I ungroup the group that I ungroup just went on top so I don't see my letters anymore so they are right here this one it's this one so I will be clicking on send to front so like I said I will click on the left button of the mouse and drag it to select only these these uh, layers so you see you have them here and the third layer here and I'm gonna again click flatten to flatten everything and this is when you'll see that the dash line was really white and that it will print like that. So you can make all of them like that. You can really decide which one you want. In my case, I just took these ones for the demonstration and I will show you uh, what they look like. Okay, so once you have decided uh, which stickers you want to make, you're gonna hit make it and you don't need to duplicate them already. What you need to do is come here and go to project copies. So unless you want like five of one, three of the other one, you can just have one copy of each and just duplicate them from here. 
So you get the project copies and you mark as many as you want and you click apply. And then the mat's going to reload with all the copies that you want. And you can go ahead and add some until the page is full. So that's... And Cricut will automatically rearrange them and maximize them on your 8x11 letter size paper. And you see now I have a second mat and that's not what I want. So I'm going to decrease the number a little bit, see what happens until I have only one sheet of paper. And I think I'm good like that. So I'm going to continue. And I'll start by sending it to my printer. And when it's printed, I'm going to click this to show you. Um, I'm going to select, go here to browse materials, and I'm going to find the printable vinyl. So let's write printable vinyl. Print So here it is, and I'm done. Okay, now I gotta be honest with you. This project didn't go as planned. I bought some printable vinyl that was labeled waterproof. My objective was to have stickers that would last at least a whole school year, because the ink on most of the printable vinyl out there will bleed as soon as it comes in contact with water. So you can check out the the detailed results and all the tests I made on my blog. The link is in the description of this video. But in short, the stickers were not 100% waterproof. I could easily scratch them when they were wet. The worst part is that they didn't stay flat on curved surfaces like pencils and pens. I know some other people out there have used the Cricut brand to do the same thing and it seemed to work fine. So I promised to test it when I get my hands on some. Even though it doesn't work for curved surfaces, I did find a way to make the printable vinyl scratch proof by applying a protective film on top. Yes, yes, you know the one. The one you can find at the dollar store. If you decide to try this technique, here's what you need to do to be able to cut both the protective film and the printable vinyl and still achieve a kiss cut. If you want to make the stickers with a protective film over it, you'll need to create a new material with a specific setting for uh, the cut. So what you're going to do, you're going to browse all material and you're going to go all the way down to material setting and you're going to create a new material. How to do that, you need to go all the way down and click on add new material. When you add new material, you create a name. And what it's going to do, I'll show you I created mine. It's going to create a new material with the name you gave it. Now, when I create a new material, I always put an underscore in front of it. So I know it's my material. It's the one that I created. And here's the material that I've created. I called it printable vinyl with film. And if I click edit, this is gonna, what you're going to have uh, the opportunity to change the setting of the um, the pressure of the blade, the cut pressure. So I set mine at 185. I suggest you make tests before cutting a whole sheet of uh, printable vinyl because your cut might differ depending of the wear of your blade. In order to achieve a kiss cut, so meaning it will go through the film, through the vinyl, but not through the backing, I needed a pressure of 185. So once you are satisfied with it, you click save and I'm just going to click cancel. I'm going to go out here. And once you are satisfied, you go and browse all materials. And now, since you use an underscore, I can go and click underscore printable and not even write it all. Just click the search. And here it is, printable vinyl with film. So I select this one and I just go ahead and cut it. To apply the protective film, just cut a piece of uh, protective film the same size as yours. A sheet of stickers so around 8 by 11 and remove a part of the top of the protective film apply it and then with the scraper just go and continue removing the backing until it is all flat on the stickers so if you want to put these stickers on flat surfaces or slightly bent surfaces they are a good way to make them more permanent uh, I even tested it in the dishwasher and as you can see it did stay on but 
there's a bit of water that just got between the protective sheet and the sticker so the the ink bled a little bit but if you want to hand wash your things i think it would be very safer that way uh, with the protective film on top 